Hello, I'm Derek Doran and today I'm going to read and review my poem, I Sometimes Forget. I Sometimes Forget Being neighbourly nowadays is on point and very trendy, but I find that lad who works in the co-op to be somewhat over friendly. So what if I get confused between Neil Diamond and Neil Sadaka and I sometimes forget before I order it that I don't like moussaka. You see aubergines are not my thing but I do like to binge on my TV box sets. Who's the one who sang Sweet Caroline? over nibbles and a glass of red wine. I make critiques of them all. I've noted how the theme tune ends abruptly at the start of Better Call Saul. Robbing from the rich is now enshrined in the law because nowadays there's nothing left to steal from the poor. So what if I get confused between Adolf Hitler and Margaret Thatcher and I sometimes forget before I write a killer poem that they're hard to manufacture. You see, being a genius is not me, but I do like to binge on my TV box sets. Who dropped more bombs on my city? Over nibbles and something pretty. I make critiques and write them all down. I've noted the high production values in period dramas like The Crown. Okay, maybe you're too young to confuse Neil Diamond and Neil Sedaka because you've not heard of either of them. Uh, they are of course American singer-songwriters and both of them in my defence hail from Brooklyn, New York City and were born around the same time. So this is why, um, maybe may one reason why I've often confused them over the years. Uh, one piece of trivia I recently learned about Neil Diamond was that he wrote the song Red Red Wine which was a huge hit in the 1980s for UB40. Uh, so I thought that was an interesting fact. There are quite a few cases of famous names and personalities that people commonly confuse. So I know I'm not alone in this. Um, a common one, I think, is C.S. Lewis and Lewis Carroll. Um, and I, I once... Um, unfortunately um, banged on to someone about how it wasn't Lewis Carroll who wrote Lord of the Rings it was C.S. Lewis um, okay so J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis were good friends um, but that didn't really get me off the hook you know um, hmm. another name pairing I was considering using for this poem was Gilbert Scott Heron and Giles Gilbert Scott but I decided against it because I didn't think they were widely enough known names. Um, Gilbert Scott Heron or Gil Scott Heron uh, was an American spoken word artist, um, jazz musician of, of the late 20th century. Um, I think he's dead now, he died a few years ago I think. And Giles Gilbert Scott was an architect famous for designing the Anglican Cathedral in Liverpool. Um, it's a, an amazing structure. Um, he also designed the British red telephone box that's uh, kind of become famous throughout the world. Um, so I was going to use those two guys. Now I know some of you will balk at my pairing of Adolf Hitler and Margaret Thatcher. Um, how could anyone seriously compare such a monster um, with, uh, with Adolf Hitler? But really I'm not comparing them in any context other than to question their relative records in attempting to level the city of Liverpool. Um, you know, thankfully, neither of them succeeded. Um, and did, uh, they didn't destroy Gil Scott Heron's Anglican Cathedral, um, which was a, well, I've done it again. They didn't destroy 
Giles Gilbert Scott's Anglican Cathedral, which uh, is obviously a good thing. Um, so here I am wittering on about trivia. Maybe that's kind of the point of the poem, or one of them. Mm, maybe. I'm not going to explain what I think it's about. That's for you to decide, okay? Um, what do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts? How does it make you feel? You can't leave any comments here down below because sadly I've disabled the comments section. But if you see me out and about, uh, if you're in contact with me on social media or email, do let me know. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay tuned for another poem coming very soon. Until then, take care.